This video is sponsored by Proco. One of the newer features in Procreate is the ability to set preset brush sizes. If I go here and I tap on my size slider, I can hit the plus button and it's going to create a preset. I can do that with other sizes too. Tap on it again, hit the plus button. That way if I wanna quickly go back to the exact brush size I was using before, I can just tap on that and I'm good to go. Hello, my name is Brad. I review tech for creative professionals. You already know what we're doing, so why don't we just get into it? Let's go to the tips. If you're using a texture brush that you really like and you want to erase with the same texture brush, you can tap and hold on the eraser and it automatically changes to the same brush you were just using. You can also do the same thing with the smudge tool. Procreate remembers your most recently used brushes and it keeps them right here on the recent tab. If you swipe to the right on those brushes, you can pin it so you can keep it here forever. Or if you want to just figure out, hey, where did I find that brush? I can click on find and it takes me to the category it originally came from. Procreate's interface is pretty minimal, but if you want to remove it all, four fingers tapped on the canvas to make it disappear and four fingers to bring it back. You probably already know that you can tap with two fingers to undo and three fingers to redo. But you can hold two fingers on the canvas to make it go backwards up to 250 times. One thing to keep in mind is if you exit to the gallery, you're gonna lose all of those undos. Same thing if Procreate completely shuts down. If you go to the wrench and then over to the preferences tab, you can choose how long you wait before that undo starts to kick in. Before I start the next thing, I wanna clear this layer. Quick way to do that, three fingers, scrub around, clears it instantly. You might already be familiar with quick shapes where if I draw a shape on the canvas, it will automatically snap to the shape that I need it to be in. But what if I want a perfect square? One finger on the canvas and I'm good to go. And it does the same thing with other shapes like circles and triangles too. If I just draw a random shape, it will snap into place as well. But if I tap on this edit tool, it'll turn into almost like a vector object, which will let me grab the points and move them around anywhere I need them to be. You're probably changing your brush size all the time, but what if you want more granular control than what it's giving you here? Just go ahead and slide to the right a little bit. And then as you go up and down a lot, the scrubber just moves a tiny bit. Let's take a look at layers. We can double tap on any layer to change the opacity and then slide it one way to turn the opacity down and slide it back up to turn it up. There we go, green looks pretty good. There's lots of other things we can do in the layers as well. For example, alpha lock is turned on on this layer. If I want it turned off, I swipe with two fingers to the right. If I want it turned back on, I swipe with two fingers again. And taking two fingers and holding on the layer for a second is gonna turn on my selection tool and just select the contents of that single layer. I'm really bad about naming my layers, but it's really easy with the Apple Pencil in your hand. When you're in the renaming section, you can use Apple Scribble feature. So I could just scribble out the name and write whatever I want, like green. What if I just wanna see the outlines of this drawing? I can tap and hold on the checkbox and what it's gonna do is turn off every other layer. This also works with group. Tap and hold on the checkbox on the group and it just turns on all the layers in that group. Now what if I wanna duplicate these layers? I can swipe to the right and tap on duplicate for each layer and reorganize it or I can select them all by swiping to the right on them just like this and then tap, hold and drag onto the canvas and it automatically duplicates all of those layers right here on the canvas for me. What if I wanna move all these layers to a new canvas? I can tap, drag on them and then hold them over the gallery link for a second until it takes me back to my gallery and then hold them over an image, tap on the piece of artwork that I want and when I let go, it's going to import all of my layers for me. Although sometimes it imports them backwards and I'm not exactly sure why. Now most of the art I make here in Procreate are comics or cartoon style illustrations. But lately I've decided to branch out, learn something else, maybe pick up some new digital painting skills. These are painting skills that I am learning with today's sponsor, Proco. You're probably familiar with the channel here on YouTube, but Proco.com is a whole online learning community for artists with high quality lessons on drawing and painting and sculpting. There are a ton of courses here, the fundamentals like figure drawing and anatomy to niches like comic book illustration or children's book illustration taught by industry professionals. Which course have I been taking? I've been using this one. This is Digital Painting Fundamentals taught by John Niemeister. This course is awesome. He starts with the tools and workflows and then does a deep dive and I mean deep dive into the fundamental painting concepts. He even shares some of the more advanced things he does with some of the concept art he creates for games. Whether you are a beginner or a hobbyist or an industry professional, you're gonna find something in Proko's courses that are perfect for you. Proko also believes that a strong community is essential to personal growth. So you're gonna get support from other artists and students who provide encouragement and communication and inspiration along the way. The first 100 people to use the code COLBO20 will get 20% off their first order on Proko. Check 
the link down below in the description to get started today. What if you've been moving in and out and rotating and you just want this to snap back to its original size? Take two fingers and pinch in quickly. Procreate also has a reference panel, so if I want an image to work from or I just want to pull colors from something else, I can easily do that within this reference panel and still work in my original image. Procreate has a bunch of cool animation tools. If we go to the wrench and we toggle on animation assist, all of a sudden each one of our layers or each one of our groups becomes a frame in our animation. I can tap on play and it plays all of my animation. Of course, there's other settings down here as well. For example, I can speed up this animation. I could slow it down. I can turn on onion skidding. I can loop it. I can ping pong it. I can one shot it. And that's about it, but it's still pretty cool. Procreate has also added a tool called Page Assist. Well, I'll toggle that one on. And it basically works like Animation Assist, but you can use this to create books or comics or different kind of layouts that you can toggle on and off. Check out my home screen, you guys. I have a Procreate widget. Tapping on it, takes me back to the drawing I was last working on. When we're in the gallery, tapping on the plus button is gonna show us our most recently created canvases. I'm really bad about clearing these out, but I can swipe on any of them and delete them. Or if I wanna keep one, I can swipe on it and tap on edit. And this lets me change the width, the height, the DPI, and of course, I can title that canvas too. Random canvas save. And there we go, I got a random canvas right here. Let's check out the color picker. If you find a color that you really like but you want more control over it, just pinch out on it to make the circle larger. And when you're done, you can just pinch in to go back to your normal view. Sometimes when you're using the color picker, you might be trying to find that perfect white and you just can't quite do it and you end up grabbing a light shade of gray instead. It's pretty easy to fix. When you're in the color picker, if you double tap on the white area, it will go to the the most saturated version of white available, that pure white. That same thing works with pure black and it also works if you double tap the most saturated area of the color as well. You can also create a palette from your camera. Just go ahead and hit on the plus button and choose new from camera. And you guessed it, it brings up your camera and it creates a palette from whatever photo you take. This also works with images you might already have on your iPad. You ever do that thing where you fill in a shape and the edges are still a little bit gross? That's where your friend color drop threshold comes in. You drag your color in, but you don't release the pencil from the canvas. And then I can slide it up and you'll see this blue line up here. And the higher that blue line gets, the more of that edge it erases. This works the other way too. Say I wanna fill in this space, but when I do, it kinda of makes everything lighter. Color drop threshold, drag it over, and then move the color drop threshold down. All right, so those are my Procreate tips. What do you think? Did I forget your favorite? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.